Welcome to the air to ground portion of the MV-T38C tutorial series. Note that you'll need VRS TAC Pack for depicted functionality. The A2G system consists of simulated bombs and guns. There are customizable release profiles which can be selected with upright one or keypad in A2G master mode. Release modes are Continuously Computed Impact Point, or CCIP, Manual with a Reticle Setting, and Continuously Computed Release Point, or CCRP. Dive Angle, Release Altitude, and Release Airspeed are displayed on the UFCP. The MFD can be used for reviewing the release profiles. Active Release Profile isn't affected. Adjustments can be made here or in the MVAMs. The DTS load feature can be used when the SIM is running. Changes are made here for a CCRP drop later on. Expendables can be restarted here or with the master arm. The T38 type shells are 20 mic mics. The DTS cartridge contains a predefined target for us. While reviewing the data, target diamond offsets can be defined. Based on a selected heading, left and right are in feet can be set, far and near alike. Coordinates can be displayed in UTM format instead of WGS. EGI course function can be used for orientation during the pass. In CCRP mode, a computer releases the bomb at proper time. After positioning the ship, the level pass begins. On the lower left corner is the selected AG sub mode. Beneath are gun rounds and expendables. On the lower right corner are slant range timers and bearing range. Once the pull-up queue passes through the horizon, press and hold the pickle button before the solution queue reaches the flight path marker. 
focus on the azimuth steering line, unaccelerated flight, and airspeed. A carrot has been set as a reminder for speed. This was decent release with minor deviations in lateral position, bank, and altitude. The DDS button is a quick way to reorient for another attempt. In this pass, the lofting technique is used. After the maximum toss anticipation cue circle disappears, aim for a 4G pull during two seconds into a 40 degree climb. The forward air controller sent a mission for us. We shall commence by creating a new destination point for this attack. Having completed the task, the DP is set as the steer point. Egress is to the east. The level escape maneuver calls for at least 60 degrees of heading change, so the bug is set for a reminder. programs is modified for a nap of the earth high speed high drag pass. The altitude in mean sea level is set a little bit higher to account for the elevation. Otherwise the settings are good to go. In CCIP mode, the pilot releases the ordnance when the pipper mates with the target.
While sneaking towards the target, the nav master mode can be used for getting bearings via the upper right corner of the hut. If the AG sub mode requires a change, use the weapon mode button. Crossing over the streams shows us we are over the initial point. This is confirmed as the distance matches. As per the escape maneuver, roll into a 4G level turn and note the heading. Should you ever need to execute a delayed CCIP pass as indicated by the delay queue over the pipper, hold down the pickle button and follow the azimuth steering line. If a new target needs to be designated via HUD, an existing destination point between a range of 201 and 399 needs to exist for proper calculations. A new destination point without coordinates may also exist. Enter the correct elevation. It will vary depending on scenery and mesh installed. Before designating the new target, make sure a valid destination waypoint is active. Use the nose wheel steering button to bring up the designator pipper. Fly the pipper over the target and use the button again. The marked page appears on the UFCP. Use the upright one button to accept the designation. In the manual sub mode, referencing charts is necessary. The attack begins from the rollout altitude at which the flight path is set towards the aim off point located beyond the target. The ship is flown at a constant angle and speed until release occurs at pre-planned altitude. Changes in pre-planned flight path angle, speed and altitude necessitate adjustments to time of release. The aim off distance and initial pipper placement can and shall be calculated a tad later. The process culminates in getting the release parameters into the release program and setting the optical sight depression. Site setting is inputted to upright 2. The first values to be decided on are dive angle, release altitude, and CAS. From these, the site depression from flight path can be obtained, which is 110 mils in this case. The target elevation is 117 feet and release altitude is 800 feet AGL. Thus, the release altitude is 917 feet on the barrow. Albeit calibrated airspeed is used normally, the true speed needs to be figured out for AOA calculations. Today, it's easy enough since the target is at sea level in ISA conditions, hence the TAS of 440 knots. Using that value, release altitude, dive angle, and almost full tanks as data points, the nomogram gives 25 mils extra for the depression. 
The final setting of 170 milliradians is the result of flight path depression of 110, AOA addition of 25, and armament data line fixed value of 35. As for where to aim, target is located at the runway numbers. Recon measured the distance between the target and the service road on the right around 1,300 feet. From target to end of runway overrun is around 2,400 feet. Therefore, aim off point is located around midway of road and the end of the overrun. The distance in mils is about 25 for a 2,500 foot rollout altitude. The 25 mils subtend the aim off distance. The inner diameter of the reticle is 50 mils and outer 100 mils. Mill standard HUD has values half of that. The ship is pitched over just before the 10 degree pitch ladder reaches the aim off point. The FPM and ladder are henceforth used in aiming. The climbing escape maneuver is a 4G pull into 20 degrees relaxing into 30. This concludes the air to ground training. Thanks for watching and become the master.